Good morning, DeWolf Multimedia students. It's me, Mr. Cheney, with a brilliant tutorial. So we're going to change things up. We started some image editing yesterday, and the previous assignment, we were using Pixlr. This is a tool that I've used in the past. In the past, it was completely free. It's no longer that way, so it's out. We're not paying for that. So I have to alter this next part of the assignment, which I'm going to do easily there is a better version anyway so Pixlr goes out and we are going to use a website called P. It's even a better approximation of Photoshop and so it's just as well that we're going to be using this. So I'm going to make that change right now, put that onto the assignment and I'm going to adjust kind of just to show you where these tools are going to be. So we have again six images that we're going to be working with and three different tools that we're going to so brightness contrast is kind of bundled into one. We're going to do a color saturation thing and then a sharpness thing. Uh, each of those tools being used for two images. So now that we've got a website that doesn't charge us money just to save a file, I think we're good to go. I'm going to replace this video too because I'm making this one now. Alright, so let's go see what this looks like. Uh, we're still going to use this website, the GCF Global. And this kind of goes through what we're talking about. So brightness and contrast. If an image is too bright or too dark, you can adjust the brightness and contrast. Color is muted or dull. You can use a variety of color correction tools like saturation. So I'll show you that. And then sharpness, if an image is less clear and you'd like to sharpen it, that's an option for you. And then photo P, that's in the filter section. And we'll see that. So they just kind of show us an example right here of brightness and contrast features. This does look much better than the first because there were some adjustments made. And so here's the pictures we're going to be working with. So my suggestion, left click on them first, then right click and save image as. I would actually just put a folder on your desktop for, and you can name it, you know, the, the project that we're working on. So uh, let's call it edit pics. Two, because this is the second. And we will put a museum full size into there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do all of these at the same time. So I have all of these available. So save image as. There's my folder that I just saved. All of these are going to say full size. So when you save your edited version, you can take that word full size out and maybe put edited so you know the difference. Alright, so save that one and do this for all six of these uh, same folder good and this is just a good practice as far as being coordinated and organized with the files have to go left click to get the full image then right click save as tower full size and then last one is the couple in the park, or maybe their brother and sister, I don't know. So, oh, it just says wall, it doesn't even say anything about the people, that's okay. So now I can close all these up. I've got the pictures I can work with, and I'm going to work with brightness and contrast first. And the slide deck is right here, and it'll call out which pictures do to do what tool with. So in this one, brightness contrast, we're going to do with the couple in the park. So I'm going to bring in my original image, which is going to be on my desktop. There's going to be, oh, it's not going to be the desktop. Where did those go? Right on the desktop, just like I said. So to move. Nope, that's not the right one. I put it in my downloads app already. So let's try that. So insert it's in the download section. There's my folder and it picks. And I'm going to go with a couple in the park. They're calling it wall. So there we go. I'll resize that. Put that in there. And then let's go into Photo P and alter it using brightness and contrast. So from Photo P, we'll open it up. <clears throat> and we can go to image and adjustments. We can go to brightness and contrast right here some sliders and we're just going to make this look better. So right away just by brightening it up that looks better. 
I can adjust the contrast a little bit so that you can see edges a little better, bring the subjects to the front, away from the background a little bit. So you can experiment with that. We'll press OK. We'll go File, Export, ENG. change the file name, yes. So I'm going to change the file name to edit it, so I know that's the one, and you know that's in our downloads, and actually what I can do is open this up, downloads, and drop it right over here, and see the difference immediately in the quality of the picture. So you'll do brightness contrast for the building picture as well. So the next tool is we're going to do color saturation. And we're going to start with the pink daisies to do that one. So do photo P, I'll open pink full size, go to the image, do adjustments, and then hue and saturation. So we're just going to make this look better. So if I do a little saturation like that, hue that a little bit, make it look really neon looking. Lighten it now. I like the wired but not washed out. We're going to go with that. File, export, PNG. Call this pink edited. And that's one of the two. So go to our slide deck. There's our downloads. Forgot to put the original original, I'll do that now. So, there is the altered one. Let's put the original one. And you can see the immediate difference there as well. Last tool is the sharpen tool. So we're going to use that squirrel picture to do that. So we'll go back to Photo P. We're going to go Open, we're going to open the squirrel picture, and we open the squirrel picture, open the squirrel picture. Alright, so we got the squirrel picture opened up, and the tool we're going to use is actually this time under the filter. Go to sharpen. We're going to sharpen the image up. And if you did a control plus, you can actually get in here and see the differences. So if I were to undo that sharpen, you can see that it was just a little bit blurry. And so if I do it again, I'm going to go filter and sharpen. You'll be able to see the difference. Sometimes subtle, but this one not as subtle. And then so we're going to go in and save this, export as PNG, and same thing, we'll rename it so we know it's the edited version. Put the original on, and that's it. So our original squirrel right here, insert image, upload. There's the squirrel size and we'll put the sharpened one over here that should do it so make sure that you do the second for each one of these so the building is going to be brightness contrast this is going to be the flower and the dandelion and this is going to be the power lines for sharpness spell dandelion correctly. I'm going to fix that. Anyway, that's the tutorial for today's project. I'll see you back in class.